Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. This is our second video on the reshape command. And to give you perspective, the reshape command is used to convert the data from long to white format or white to long format. So if you haven't watched the part one of this video, I would strongly recommend that you go back and watch the part one. I have given the link in the description. That would give you the basic knowledge to understand this video. In the part one, we have discussed multiple examples of reshape command. We use the reshape for a single variable, reshape for multiple variables, numerical column headers. If we have our headers at numerical values, what if we have multiple unique identifiers? And in this video, we are going to see if our headers are in string format. So to give you an idea, let me open the Excel sheet. This is how our data looks like. We have different individuals and we have the gender for these individuals. Let's say these are employees for certain firm. And we want to measure their performance before and after certain treatment. The treatment being certain kind of motivation and increase in say bonus. We want to see whether the performance on price increases or not before after the treatment. For that, we need both the data, the before treatment performance and after treatment performance. And for that, say for example, performance is measured in number of products produced. So let's import this data in Stata. We click on File, Import, Excel Spreadsheet, then click on Browse. We select the file and we move to the worksheet that holds our data because our first row is variable names we check this box click ok and we have our data let me walk you through the command the command is somewhat same we use the reshape command then we write the word long because we want to move from white to long then we write this tab Remember, this stuff should be written in a way that uh, you should keep into consideration how do you want the final data to look like. In our final data, I want a variable that would just contain the word before or after. So if I write PERF over here, then it would remove PERF and it would leave underscore with the word before and after. So the new variable that would be created would have would have values like underscore after and underscore before. I do not want that. So I would write the full name over here. Then after comma, we write the cross-sectional variable. Then the variable, new variable that would be created. It is the name that I have assigned to it. You can use any name that you want. The new option that we haven't discussed yet is the string, op string option. In Strata, string means uh, text. So we have our column headers as text. We would use this string variable, this string option. We run this command. So it would give me an error. And the reason is that it is saying that the variable ID is not found. But if I come over here, I see that there is variable ID. Let me introduce you the idea why this happens. The reason is that my id variable is uh, the i is in the capital form and status scan sensitive so it is probably a good idea to always use lower cases uh, in you as your variable names it would be easy to write it would uh, not be prone to error uh, and one quick uh, uh, command to convert all your variable names into lower case is uh, is the rename command so I write the command name rename and then the variable names. Let me get the variable names from here. Then I write the option lower, execute this command and you would see my variable names are converted into lower cases. But anyhow, this is just to make things easier. Now, if I execute my command, the data is converted. Let me show you the data in data format in data view. So we have our individual employee 
and we have two values one value is after the treatment after the some kind of motivation and before motivation or some treatment so for each individual we have two values after and before the treatment this is how we wanted our data to look like if we didn't include it underscored with the PERF then that underscore would appear over here you know uh, before the after or the before value okay so we are done uh, with our string header example and the last example on our list is numerical column header with special characters let me give you an example in this sheet we have this data for each uh, stock we have downloaded this data from a database and if you download it from say for example daily or weekly or monthly data from a database or some other kind of data then you might get the the exact date uh, in in the as a column header now the issue with this kind of date is that they have special characters in them and if you remember uh, the stata would not accept special characters as variable names uh, for example forward slashes black slashes full stops it can only accept underscores as variable names so these would not be accepted as variable names so we cannot use uh, our uh, you know the example that we did over here uh, because it would not accept the uh, the input of the variable name let me show you in stata let's import this data and see how it looks like select the excel sheet then uh, select this the worksheet that holds the data in this case it is special character header i uh, so and so now you see that the first row contains our headers as soon as i, I check this box it says import first row as variable name you would see the symbol is imported as variable name but the rest of the uh, the values aren't so if i click okay uh, it would ask me if i want to delete the previously unsaved data yes so now you would see i have lost that information i wanted those uh, days to be uh, to be stored over here because i wanted them for my analysis purposes the way around is first we would have to set our data in in the excel sheet let's go back to the excel sheet let's insert a new row and give a alphanumeric header to this uh, column drag it and you would see that uh, we have uh, seven alphanumeric headers now select these two two rows copy them insert a new sheet and transpose this data uh, by transposing what we do is we convert columns into rows or rows into columns now insert a new row let's give a header to each of these row columns let's call it code and date and then i would remove this a character from from this row from each value the reason would be evident in a while but you, let's let's uh, let's follow the step that i am doing replace all and we just have numerical values over here let's save this move back to the sheet uh, special characters the original sheet that holds our data we copy these headers and paste them over here we remove the extra uh, row that we have created let's save this and now we have alphanumeric header that we can simply convert let's also rename this sheet as change name you can give any name that you want save this and again move back to stata so what i am going to do is i am first going to import the change name sheet then save it into data uh, stata data format dot dta format and then i am going to import my original data and merge it with the change name file let me perform this import excel sheet i select the file then first i need to import the change name sheet import first row as variable name click okay then i save this i simply save this file as 
change name or whatever name that you want to give save next i am going to import my original data the main data i want to use for analysis click on excel sheet browse select the file and this time i'm going to select the special character header worksheet which holds the main data now i am going to click import first row as variable names and we get the variable names over here click ok yes we have our data now first let's reshape it the command would be reshape we want to move to long format and this tub is a capital a remember status is case sensitive comma i and in this case our cross section variable is stored in uh, symbol you know the the firm id or this firm symbol uh, the the name of the firm is stored in this symbol variable i write the word the variable name then the new variable that would be created let's call it code press enter we have converted the data into log format let me show it to you we have our cross-section variable and each code but we do not have the date information that we actually wanted. Now, how do we import that date information? Remember, we, we saved a file by the name of change name. We are going to merge this file with the change name file. Let me go to Stata, click on Data, Combine Dataset, Merge Two Files. I would select Many to One option, then select the the key variable which in this case would be code because we want to merge using code select the file remember the file is in my e drive and we have this reshape folder this is the file that i saved click ok so now let me show you this on my data view i have the symbol and the the date that i wanted let me just sort it on symbol and date and now we can see that for each symbol we have all the dates that we wanted we have perfectly imported the information that we wanted without distorting the the format of the date I just want to remove this code and the merge variable so I have a clean data. Drop code, the code variable, and the merge variable. Now I have a clean data ready for analysis purposes. I hope you have learned something in these videos. Uh, do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching the video.